The NFL draft is one month away. Just today, J.J. McCarthy news. A lot of buzz about him flying up the draft charts. A month ago on this show, we noted how Todd McShay, draft expert, catch him on Ryan Russillo's podcast, was hearing scouts loved McCarthy. So that was an early sign that there was starting to be buzz. And honestly, it feels like there has been more talk about McCarthy this week or last week, Jim Harbaugh saying he's the best quarterback in the draft. Everyone wants to figure out if he's sort of that under-evaluated, tantalizing prospect. So this week, the odds on McCarthy to go number two have shrunk again. Opened north of 20 to 1. On Monday, he went from 10 to 1 to 4 to 1 to be the second overall pick. Simon, your take. <laughs> never saw it coming. Just, just from watching his tape and talking to scouts, I, I never would have bet that this was going to happen. But um, no, it's that time of year, Chad. Incredible smoke screen by um, the GM of the commanders. Apparently, they're all up at the owner's meeting. Uh, this GM is going around telling people that he loves JJ and he might take him at pick two. And now teams might, you know, trade up to go to that number two pick because they like JJ that much. They're going to take him there. I just, I can't buy it. I just can't buy the commanders trading out of there either. It's like, are they really going to pass on, um, you know, these once in a lifetime QB prospects, even if it's not the number one guy, it feels like, you know, even if you want to take Drake, Drake may great, but you know, to me, Daniel's, when we talked, you know, late February, I just bet him because I was like, okay, his odds are too big. I think the race is closer to him and Drake May than people realize. I don't have any idea who's going number two. I don't think anyone does. So um, this GM can troll people all he wants. What I do know for a fact is, unlike Carolina, the owner is not going to make the decision for Washington. Apparently, he has taken a step back and he is letting the GM make this choice, which is a big deal because I feel like once it leaks, we're really going to know who it is. And, um, just going by the odds, to me, there's been no leaks. Daniels is still the favorite, I believe, at minus 170 in most books. Um, no one knows. If you wake up and Daniels is up to minus 500, that would mean something's been leaked overnight or the professionals got got word that that's what's going to happen. They've hit that number. So um, for someone like me that likes to hedge my position, I was just going to hedge out on Drake May, but now this whole JJ thing has kind of scared me a little bit because um, all these quarterbacks do have – a weakness that you could point to be the reason why you didn't want to take them. And, um, you know, some people out there really puff their chest out and love Drake may. I've never felt that way about him. Um, you know, a, a quarterback playing in the ACC and doing well is much different than a quarterback playing well in the sec. And I think scouts know that as well. So, um, as talented, and as great as he's looked, it's just hard to really want to take an ACC quarterback over an sec guy, with that number two pick. And I, that's why, Again, I factor into that when I'm talking about Daniels and his his big plus numbers. So um, the JJ stuff is really interesting, but I, I personally think it's all smokescreen. I think it's like we talked last year about the Will Levis. Will Levis, all of a sudden, this Reddit post and all these rumors, and all of a sudden his odds went way up to be the number two pick overall. At one point, he was minus 200 to be the number two pick um, on the draft on the day of the draft, mind you. Like, it was crazy. Yeah. So, I mean, you talk all the time, people. There's a lot of noise. Um, it's it's, it's tough to sift through it, but I think the JJ stuff is just it's just noise. Even even when you see Harbaugh talking about it, of course Harbaugh is going to talk talk up his former quarterback, and he's sitting there at the fifth pick. This man is dying for four quarterbacks to go before the fifth fifth pick, and he could take Sam Marvin Harris or whoever at that position. So um, yeah, it's it's all going to right now. It's all going to plan. It, like someone from the outside. You got the ex-coach talking them up. You got a GM throwing smoke screens because he thinks the Vikings are going to trade up two first-round picks to go get this kid at the fourth pick. So um, this is this is my favorite time of year. It's just there's so much BS. It's just really fun to to break it all down. Well, that's exactly what it is. There's so many, there's so much noise in the signals uh, to flip it around, right? JJ McCarthy does not have the resume that Jaden Daniels have has. Does not have the numbers does not have the stature that Drake May has. And I say this as a guy who, from the beginning, has not been on the Drake May bandwagon. There's no reason for a conversation about him to all of a sudden be a top two pick. It is all conjecture, rumor. This is the time of year when NFL reporters, 
NFL GMs, NFL owners are all in the same place. They're gossiping. They're chit-chatting. Oh, I really like this guy. It's really interesting. You know, I like the way he does this. And like, everyone wants to find something special that nobody else can see. In the entirety of American life, <laughs> people believe in other people's superpowers and ability to see something that no one else can see. It's why people love betters. They believe they can see the future. They think they have some kind of secret that nobody else has that is allows that allows them to see something and benefit from that power. This is the JJ McCarthy story right now. He's not going number two overall. No, no, but I wouldn't be shocked if he went three just because there are ways you could talk him over Drake May. Um, but yeah, over Daniels, it's just, it's just hard for me to wrap my head around that one, uh, at pick two, um, just for the upside, but, um, yeah, JJ, you know, the, the tape, it, the, it's hard to break down the tape, but the whole, the whole thing that a team could talk themselves into is just the fact that there is so much unknown to him, but what you do know is he did lead a team to quote unquote, a national title. And he played in a horrible offense, which is a pro offense. So, um, there are things that can be talked into it. I just, if I'm drafting for upside, which every team should be drafting for, I just, why would you not take Drake May um, if you're the Patriots instead of JJ? But again, ton of smoke screen. Uh, you know, it's all the agents as well working together. Um, I've been proven wrong. I never in my life would have believed Bryce Young would have been the number one pick. Um, and again, that's not even trying to shit on. Now people are trying to shit on Bryce Young a year later. It's like, you know, none of us would be shocked if he is better. But I think all of us can agree he never would have had the ceiling that CJ had. And that's just proven out. And the same thing kind of goes here where um, JJ, I just don't know if his ceiling is close to the other guys in the top three, where I do think he is gifted. And it's fair to have him above, you know, these other quarterbacks at Penix and Bo Nix. Um, but yeah, it's it's tough for me to get there for him being a top three pick. But I told you, I told you and Matt Mitchell, what is that, a month ago? You know, scouts were talking about six quarterbacks going in the first round. Yeah. And I didn't believe it because it's like I can't find the six. Now, if if JJ does go top four and then Denver is coming up and taking Bo Nix and then the Bucks are coming up to take um, Penix at the back end of the first, that's six quarterbacks. So um, pretty, pretty exciting draft if you're a big fan of the quarterback drafts. Like this is this is as good as it gets. Like this is really crazy that, um, you know, this is already starting this early, but yeah, J.J. being a top three pick, that, that would be a pretty big shocker, Chad, for this upcoming draft. 